We got a new star system alpha 3.24.2 PTU patch for Evo Cardi. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the LTI Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. Um, literally just a few minutes ago, we got a the starts off at 3.24.2 just dropped for Evo Cardi. Testing focus for this one remains as stability and buff fixes, vehicle HUD and MFD rework, uh, new character creator DNA, faces, beards, tattoos, and hair. New acidic caves and rock cave systems, flight tuning and archetype balance ongoing during PTUSS, and the new Arena Commander updates. Tons of known issues for this one, I'm not going to go over that in this video, but under features and gameplay, under the ships and vehicles category, they reverted the ship boost speed reduction to the previous speeds. Uh, they've added um, default options for the new ship settings, which are applied when a new ship spawn for the first time. They've done further MFD HUD visual polish passes as well well under weapons and items the paar iron sights will no longer be flipped when using an optic they also done they've also slightly increased the damage of the custodian um so there's a few buff fixes that come with this one they fix an issue where the atmosphere uh range out into space for flight speed and nav mode speeds uh they fix an issue where players are unable to receive updates to their friends list they fix an issue where players who join an instance that get isolated or into a bad state cannot join another until stowed they fix an issue where losing power in a ship locks all the doors inside of a ship they fix an issue where scanning mfds revert to the ready to scan after scanning ships with no cargo stored they fix an issue where when zooming out of the star map it will continue to zoom out further than is expected they fix an issue where the origin 300 cv still has the old mfd ui on the bed mfd I didn't know I had a bad MFD. All right, that's interesting. Um, they fixed an issue where the visit area issue at the medical clinics at rest stops. They fixed an issue where velocity gauge is missing from the player's HUD. They fixed an issue where there is no option to power on EMPs. They fixed an issue where you're unable to plot a route to obstructed destination. They fixed an issue where add unequipped state on pips and fix scrolling behavior while hovering pips they fix an issue where the inventory list does not correctly show the vehicle that stored in the location they fix an issue where rock is popping inside of caves now this is for the rock caves they fix an issue where the mouse wheel does not allow the player to scroll through the power management mfds if bouncing over a power pip they fix an issue where the 890 jump gunner turret is missing a room entity when deployed causing an asphyxiation or suffocation. They fix an issue where the cooldown for ship shield regeneration trigger every time power allocation is altered. They fix an issue where the QTM indicator text is shown as QT instead of QTM. They fix an issue where when opening the weapons rack to store a weapon, there is a second place interaction that appears on the floor too. They fix an issue where the inventory cabinets are left behind after destruction. They fix an issue where weapon pools now show unavailable pips correctly. Along with this is 7 client crashes and 3 server crash fixes. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization Phase 1 Industries is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one.